Hey guys, Mark here, bringing you another Nintendo Books video, and I just want to call back to a video that I did a little while back, which was why I'm excited for Captain Toad. And recently I've been watching the Nintendo Direct, and I've watched it over a few times actually, because I've been on holiday, so that's why there's been a lack of videos. But I was watching it, and I thought to myself, why don't I do some videos for other games like I did for Captain Toad, why I'm excited for, why don't I make that into a bit of a series. So this is what I'm doing and this is the first episode in that series and they'll come every now and then and I'll just make them when I feel like it, when there's a game out that I really just want to talk about, I want to get my opinions out to you guys on why I am excited for this game and I want to hear back why you're excited for this game or even why you're not excited for this game and what other games you're excited for in general. So this first episode is Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem. Or should I rather say the game that was introduced as Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem because that is not actually cemented as the name in the West anymore with it being more of a thematic crossover and then referring to it as the game that they showed off as Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem. And in Japan it being referred to as a completely different name more cementing that fact that it is more of a thematic crossover. And this has actually caused for a lot of uproar from die-hard Fire Emblem fans and from Shin Megami Tensei fans to a certain extent as well, but more so Fire Emblem fans who have been very disappointed by this. And I'm just going to get it out of the way with I've never played a Fire Emblem game and I actually do really want to play one and I will be playing one as soon as I am able to get my hands on one. Currently I'm playing through Xenoblade but um, as soon as I can do I will get to play a Fire Emblem game. But this game looks brilliant to me. It looks like this completely new thing, which is awesome. It looks so good, guys. I just think that this is a completely new direction. And one of the main reasons why I will be very excited for this game is simply because it's going to be so unique for the Wii U. Not that I think that a Fire Emblem game wouldn't be unique for the Wii U. I just think that this is very colourful, very bright, very unique and it will bring a bit more colour to the library and I know many people actually didn't like this look and it's something that surprised them because after two years of us being in the dark it was not the game that people were expecting with much of the mainline Shin Megami Tensei games being a bit darker and also Fire Emblem can be a bit dark at times as well but this is definitely more colourful and thus people have said oh it's Persona, it's Weeaboo but I don't really see that myself. I think that although it does have some similarities to Persona, it looks more like the Devil Survivor series of Shin Megami Tensei, which only makes sense seeing as the director for this game is the same director for the Devil Survivor series. So this can only make sense, and that is also a series which is set with a main character who goes to a high school. So that's totally to be expected, guys. And also, what's the problem with it being like Persona? I really don't see the problem. Persona is somewhat of a spin-off from Shin Megami Tensei itself, at least in the West. And therefore, it's okay. And Persona is far more popular than Shin Megami Tensei. Let's be real about this. It is. Persona is a huge series. Shin Megami Tensei has a strong cult following, but nowhere near as much as Persona does. And seen as Persona is, for the most part, apart from Persona Q, a PlayStation exclusive, it's awesome that we're getting that kind of feel in a game and that kind of quality in a game. And I'm just really excited for this game, guys. A modern JRPG, and it's going to offer something very different from, say, Xenoblade Chronicles X, which is also going to offer an amazing experience. But they're going to be very different, and I like that. I didn't want it to be strongly cemented in fantasy like it could have been. I want it to be cemented in this kind of fantasy mix with modern life like it is, and it was not what I was expecting, and granted I didn't want that before because I didn't think that would be happening, but now that it's actually come out, that trailer is awesome. I've watched over it multiple times, and... I'm sure that there will be more Fire Emblem features in there and that there will be more callbacks to Fire Emblem than it seems on the surface guys if any of you are diehard Fire Emblem fans and you're really disappointed by this trailer but you just need to wait guys the director of the game has already said that there is more to do with Fire Emblem in there they just didn't show it off fully in the trailer so there's more to come 
and hopefully this game can be a big hit because I think that actually has potential to become its own spin-off series. And I think with the name change that they've actually done, that is kind of setting it up for that. So hopefully, like Splatoon, this can actually spawn a series. And I would like to see Atlas work more with Nintendo because they're two great companies and Atlas do make some great JRPGs. And I'd just like to see more come to Nintendo systems. So that's about it for this video though, guys. So if you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. Also comment down below which games are you excited for? Are you excited for Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem? And what are your thoughts on it? What were your thoughts on the trailer? Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, that would be a great help if you do subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. I've been Maka. You've been watching another Nintendo Box video. Bye, guys.